Dear future seniors, you're almost there. You spent nearly all your life in school, and what a journey it's been. Having worked your butt off for more than a decade, you likely want nothing more than to walk away and never look back. And who can blame you? We've all been there. You may start to feel like you're too old for this, but enjoy every moment because senior year is amazing, but bittersweet. You've probably heard all that before, so let us tell you what it's like and first consider what it means to finally be a senior. You'll come to your last convocation assembly, finally sitting facing the school with your back to the ringing bells and sorting hat. This time, you'll know your schedule, got under the days of waiting and anticipation to hear which classes the year will bring. You'll see old friends and new faces, but best of all, within minutes, you'll be walking into Willis Hall with a new room curated just for you, the senior lounge. As fall term kicks off, you and the rest of the school will prepare for the homecoming season, thrilled about ensuing fun. There's the spirit days, the parade, homecoming court, the first student faculty cup of the year, and Mrs. Wink's larger than life personality underpinning it all. Then of course, there's the big dance itself, where you'll request familiar songs and find yourself unable to stand still in the presence of North Cross Electric MC Rube. As early college decisions come out, many of you may fall victim to senioritis. And when you're not trying to sneak a quick look at Snapchat or cram for a test just minutes before class, you'll play cards in the senior lounge or ping pong in Miss Sled's room with books for paddles. Cherish all these moments, big and small alike. Coming from experience, there are plenty of firsts to look forward to after your senior year. Your first summer after graduation your first class outside of North Cross, your first year away from home. For many of you, that also means your first roommate and your first taste of independence. But we implore you to consider the last of senior year as well. They're the big things. Senior prom, your last pep rally, your last chance at a state championship. But you'll appreciate the small things too. The last time you sit through morning assembly, the last time you and your team psych yourselves up in the locker room before a big game, the last time you get a demerit for not having a collared shirt, the last time you take an AP exam. Okay, maybe not that. Then, there's the last time you'll dive off the block for a swim meet, the last time you'll go up on stage for the musical, your last choir or band concert, and your last club meeting, the last time you ask for a pencil, and the last time you forget to give it back. It could mean the last time someone packs your lunch or washes your dishes. You'll have to say goodbye to your most supportive teacher, coach, or other faculty member, the one that encouraged you to take risks and be certain in your uncertainty. As you approach the end of the year, it'll hit you. This will be the last time you do these things with these people. Those how are you's from your family and friends will turn into how have you been, and you have some catching up to do when you run into an old friend. You never realize how much you miss high school until it's gone. So underclassmen, every once in a while, take a step back and appreciate the ups and downs. And don't be afraid to take chances and try new things. Be confident, because you'll remember the risks you took, not the ones you didn't. High school can be hard at times, but trust us, you'll get through it. And when you walk up to grab your diploma during graduation, you'll see that it was all worth it. Con amor. Beava. Den han gamma. Meshadek. Midliabi. Ahead. Calerato. Aye. Slubovio. Love. A senior.